here's what we sort of inadvertently bought. Due for a little rust repair, and we definitely need a couple deck boards. The rest of the deck's not in too bad a shape. Uh, this is an air ride, air slide. Um, got bags coming up. Just about aired up now. Um, this is a 40 foot or 42 foot, I can't remember. Uh, Great Dane. Um, tires are fair. We got a mismatched set of drives on one, one wheel end. But otherwise, mostly fair. 11 hours on it. I expect the 295s, but um, truck hooked up great, lights all work, and uh, once the air comes up, we'll uh, do a little tug test and see how she's working and get on the road.
Hi guys. So, um, the long and short of it is I am just about out of time to work on this trailer. I'm leaving for a hunting trip here in, uh, uh, less than 48 hours and I've got shopping to do and still some leaves to chop and stuff around the house. And, um, unfortunately I don't have time to play with semi trailers as much as I would love to. Um, so what I found, uh, trip home went awesome. Uh, trailer rides great. Trailer brakes great. Tires are, I mean, there's some that are, that are getting close to, um, they're, they're probably, I haven't put a, put a gauge on them, but there's some that are down to, uh, to probably five or six, 30 seconds, but they're, uh, they're above the wear bars one way or the other. So not amazing, but they're legal and they're going to be legal for a while. They probably got, you know, 10,000 miles left on them. Um, they're mashed except for two. Um, what else? The, um, I mean, the bags are all good. Not a ton of cracking or anything on them. Again, this trailer's only a 2009. It's not, I mean, it's not new, but it's not super old. Um, you know, 15 years old or thereabouts. Um, it needs a blast and paint. That's the, that's the downfall of it. It's all steel. So it's not a combo or an aluminum. So, uh, if it were, it would have been a lot more money than what I gave for it. So, um, what I have found is, um, doing, doing a little bit of research is some of these newer trailers, particularly Great Danes, um, had this feature where when you release the trailer air supply, the bags dump automatically. Uh, I don't like that. We got to fix that. And then also the, the air slide tandems are not sliding all the way. And I think all it is, is something's hung up. The pins, when I tap them with the hammer, they all, they all budge and move. So I think it's in the rotating mechanism that runs through the center of the sliding tandem assembly, uh, or it's the, the valve or the, uh, the chamber itself, or it could be in the valve. Uh, the valve doesn't want to stay in the release position. So I got to dig into that. One way or the other right now, uh, as you can see, it is centered about in its sliding position, if you will. Um, you know, it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes forward on the forward pin, and we have five holes remaining. So it's a little bit aft, um, you know, but we've got about, about four feet hanging off the back. So um, it's probably, you know... On a behind a tandem axle truck, it would probably be about perfect right there uh, to get optimum weight out of this single axle. It would actually be better to be a little farther forward. So we'll dig into that. Um, I haven't crawled underneath and looked at all the linings, but the one brake that's missing a backing plate has tons of lining left on the shoes. Um, you know, almost brand new. So that's a good sign. Hubs never got hot. Um, Hubodometer shows 80,000 on the one that has a hubodometer. So if you trust that, uh, it was a local trailer to uh, West Michigan. So that's about the size of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing uncoupled. Um, I'll let you tag along and watch for that. But, you know, overall, uh, I'll just be completely transparent. Is I gave 1600 bucks for this trailer. Um, and I think it's a... It, the, the listing wasn't completely accurate, but I believe it's it's either a 40 or a 42 foot. Let's see. That gooseneck back there, sitting at a slightly different angle, but I'm about five feet shy of the front of this flatbed where the gooseneck deck starts. That's a 35 footer. And if we go to the back, boy, they are they are darn near lined up. So I think we got us ourselves a 42 for a 40 footer. The listing, the, uh, the auction listing called it a 42, but I, I, I think she's a 40 footer. 42 seems like kind of an oddball length, but it, it could be. I'll put a tape measure to it at some point and see, but, um, that bulkhead is trash. Um, I think it's just gonna, we'll just torch the bolts off and remove the bulkhead altogether. There's no reason to, to keep that. There's the most recent inspection there, dated for April of 22. Um, obviously, I'm sure they sent it to auction because of corrosion issues, so it needs it needs a blast and paint. So we'll we'll decide what we're going to do with it. We might keep it. We might blast have it blasted and painted, no matter what, whether we keep it or we sell it. We might just uh, sell it as is and make a make a small profit. I haven't really decided yet. Um, just get the 
the sliding tandem's working. So, but overall, you know, lights all work. Everything's functional. Um, and uh, I don't think it's too bad of a buy, to be honest with you, for 1600 bucks. So out the door with buyer's premiums and, and uh, taxes and title transfer, we were at uh, $2,063. I mean, to get a 15-year-old hair ride flatbed for two grand, I don't think we can beat it. Um, and, uh, yeah, might come in handy. Never know. We'll, uh, we'll power wash that deck up and, uh, put some used oil on it and, uh, keep it as good as we can keep it anyway. Um, try to put that, keep that rod at bay. Um, the truck pulled this thing awesome. Um, <laughs> it's a rough ride over, uh, on I-96 westbound to go get it, but coming back with a, with the trailer on, man, with, with full air ride on that, on that truck, it rides like a Cadillac, um, without a trailer you, know, you wouldn't know it's full air ride just rides like crap as an aside i'm sure uh i will get so much hatred from people telling me you know you know a i've already i'm, I'm probably horrible because i have tinted windows on a commercial vehicle and i don't remember what else all, all kinds of horrible things you know i was crawling underneath the trailer unsafely without you know a hard hat and fall gear or god knows what else so, you know that's unsafe, but uh, I also drove across the state of Michigan and back with expired plates and uh, just was smart about where we went and how we drove and things like that, but uh, nobody bothered me, so it wasn't worth the almost $400 for another three months plate on this truck that I don't need, so everything worked out. yesterday is there's a safety feature and the trailer air supply has to be released in order to pull these pins. They were also froze up a little bit. You can see this is the front driver side pin. Here's our button so if I pull that out you can see now they're moving good. We're clear. I'll pass the trailer frame and well into the subframe, the sliding subframe. Same with this rear dog. It was the rear that we're holding up but you saw that uh, for the life of me I couldn't get this old girl to slide. I don't think they moved it very often, so um, she is rusted tight. So we're 
latest purchase. So I'm gonna go on a hunting trip, but uh, here in the next few weeks, we'll uh, we'll start dilly dallying around on this thing and take you guys along to see what we come up with on it. I appreciate you watching, and uh, hope you have a great week.